So 15 minus 5 and 3 tenths. So um, there's a few ways of doing this, but the best way would be to um, convert part of the 15 to tenths so that we can subtract the tenths, and then the rest will subtract the 5. So 3 tenths is less than 1, right? So what we're basically going to do is turn 15 into basically 14 plus 1, right? Or 4, because 15 is 14 plus 1, right? And I'm going to take that 1 and convert that to tenths. So it's 14 and how many tenths? So 15 is 14 and how many tenths? And that's the, that's the key first step in this one, right? So you convert the 15 into a mixed number, 14 and a certain number of tenths. So what would it be there? 10 tenths? Yeah. So it would be 14 and 10 tenths. Does that make sense? A lot of students like to write these uh, underneath each other. I probably should have done that. 14, 10 tenths, uh, 5, 3 tenths. Do you like doing that? That's cool. 14 minus 5, 3 tenths. 9, 10 tenths minus 3 tenths, 7 tenths, right? Or you can do it across, same thing. Four, you just, just make sure you're subtracting the whole numbers. 14 minus 5 is 9. 10 tenths minus 3 tenths is 7 tenths. Right? Well, we should get that. Any questions on that? So when we're, when we're borrowing yeah. and we're, we're creating the, the fraction with the whole number, yep. the denominator has to match the denominator on the right? That would be a good idea. That makes it easier for sure. Yep. Yeah, you want to be trying to match that tenth. You want to turn it into tenths. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Yep. That's the idea. <laughs>